message energized. Hey guys, it's Gianna. Welcome to the Gianna Show. So today's video is going to be on numerology, which is kind of a form of like fortune telling and stuff like that. And so basically, um, I'm going to be doing one lesson for you today, and that's going to be on finding your birth path and like the number and stuff. And if this video gets high ratings, I'll do some more lessons for you. So let me start out by saying also that uh, my birth path and everyone I've done this to has found it highly accurate. So we have here the birthday of my friend Clearance. My <laughs> so not um, basically, what we're gonna be doing is May is the fifth month, and then. We have 16 and then 2003. So what we're going to be doing is May is 5. So we're going to write 5 here. And then 16, you add the two digits together. So 1 plus 6 is 8. You stupid. You no, stupid. Kidding. It's They're 7. Not. So 7 is going to go here. And 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 5. So we're going to write that there. Now, 5 plus 7 plus 5 is 17. And 17, 1 plus 7, equals 8. Now, if your birth number that you get from adding them all up is either 11 or 22, then you don't simplify them. Like, you don't add them together. But everything else, you add together. So, Clarence, no, yeah, Clarence's birth number, or his birth birth stuff, is 8. And 8 is great. Um, the difference between your birth path number and, like, your birth date number is that um, you don't include the year with the birth date. But we're doing the birth path. And then 8 is his number. And then there's like little decoding stuff that you can do. Like once you have your number, then um, according to the numerology like um, handbooks and stuff, there's different like things to describe things an 8 person might have about themselves.
is highly, has been highly accurate. So, I hope you liked this numerology lesson. And like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching the Gianna Show.